Based on the SVG Bob project by Ivan Serres, LeaScript also has support for basic ASCII art drawings. We had to rebuild the library in Elm. The project can be found here. If you want to use it, simply create a new markdown code block with at least 10 backticks, or use ASCII as the language indicator. The result will be an SVG image that is scaled according to the full width of the available screen. Remember, all you require is a keyboard, so you can use basic characters to draw different shapes. Unicode is fully supported in LeaScript, which means you can use emojis within your drawings. Additionally, you can embed LeaScript elements for integrating anything LeaScript related. Depending on the type of characters, you can define different kinds of boxes, triangles, or rectangular shapes. Supported characters for borders include. Additionally, it is possible to define different shapes for the corners. These range from normal, rounded corners to special ones that can be used to represent relations. These shapes and here are some examples for different shapes. And here is their representation as an ASCII art image. Depending on the direction of your arrow, you can use less than or greater than for left and right, V or V for down, and caret or A for up. The other endings, asterisk, hash, O, O, are direction independent. The result looks quite nice indeed. This approach enables you to draw some fancy images and to change them quite easily. Similar to, Tokipona, sometimes a reduced set of features allows you to get directly to the point. You can also use arrows to connect your other drawings, but keep in mind that in some cases, you will have to use the plus sign to fully attach your lines to another edge. The result looks as follows. Here are some more examples of rounded shapes that can be used in simple drawings. As you can see, by using parentheses, different rounded shapes can be generated too. The Unicode standard defines a set of characters, symbols that were used in the past for drawing user interfaces and menus within the console. You can use these symbols individually or in combination with the symbols and shapes mentioned above. These Unicode images can also be combined with the previous ASCII art examples, or you can use these box drawing elements to add shadows and more detail to your drawings. The following table contains a set of characters that can be used via copy and paste to draw various types of boxes. If you need shadows or different kinds of shadings, you can use some of the following elements. Emojis are defined in the Unicode standard as well, which is why you can use any kind of symbols that you use in your day-to-day -day chat messages. You can either install a plugin to your editor for emojis, or you can search the net for emojis. Check out the following links or see section Unicode symbols in the appendix. As explained in section Custom Styling, it is also possible to add custom styles here by attaching an HTML comment to the beginning of an ASCII art image. This enables you, for example, to center the image, define a maximum width, or change the color of some base SVG elements. As shown in section code, Projects Dizzy, you can add a title after the language indicator. This, title, can be a one-liner of Markdown Lear script and is displayed directly below the ASCII art image, similar to how it is done for images. And of course, it is also possible to add Lear script elements into your ASCII art drawing. This is accomplished by using double quotes, which define something like a verbatim environment. There are currently two different types of environments, simple one-liner and blocks.
The code example demonstrates three applications for such verbatim Lear script elements. Firstly, you can integrate and style a simple one-liner, which is not possible for text otherwise. Secondly, you can add entire blocks with a subsequent number of quotations that start at the same horizontal X position. Lastly, this can also contain executable elements, animations, other inputs, and more. As visible in the generated image, the verbatim elements are not as precisely placed as the normal text. This might require some adjustment of the positions of the quotations to achieve the desired result. You can observe that the verbatim elements are overlaid as foreign objects above the SVG images by executing the code example. Such integration of Lear script into ASCII art can shine when you want to use animations to highlight a certain point. For example, in the following example, different usages of animations are demonstrated. The first three are inline animations, where the number is bound to the text. The last example is a block animation where the number is hidden. The same animation can also be combined with text-to-speech output by using comments or hidden comments as shown in the example. Hidden comments are simply comments that are not shown to the public as normal comments. They are placed into an HTML comment, and different voices can be added too. How are you? Need to do some math. How difficult can it be? What the hell? Of course, you can use this in combination with quiz text inputs or selections. Since every quotation in this example is a separated markdown block, we need to trick the interpreter from trying to embed a single line text quiz into a gap text element by adding a space before the input. Together with the data show partial solution command, this is an easy way of creating more complex quizzes. If you try out the following example, Correct and incorrect inputs will be highlighted. Since the size of a Lear script element is defined based on the width of the quotation, two long Lear script definitions, such as an external image URL, might cause some problems. To solve this, you can define a local macro, in this case at image, which is basically only a substitution for the larger image. This macro can then be used as a placeholder within the verbatim. For more information on this topic, check out the section Macros. The result looks as follows, where the lower quotations are placed above the image. The size of the image was defined by the space between the quotes and required some manual moving till it fits. Can you solve it?